Hello and welcome to the Ring Central Overview. I'm Amber, a senior consultant with Ring Central, and I'll be your guide for this session. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to Ring Central and provide you some basic tips to get you familiar with Ring Central's platform. Let's get to it. To begin, let's take a moment to understand what Ring Central is. It's a cloud-based communications platform. Simply put, Ring Central lets you call, message, and meet anywhere through the internet instead of being tied to an office. This means you have the choice of where and how you do business, whether you want a desk phone, desktop app, mobile option, or all three. Let's start with the most important tools. At its core, Ring Central has two main components that enable communication and account management. There's the Ring Central application, a single app for messaging, video meetings, calling, and quite a bit more. The main functions are message, video, and phone, and it's available via the desktop application, so on your computer, as well as on mobile devices to take on the go. Next, there's the admin portal. This is a website that lets you handle settings behind the scenes and in greater detail. That goes for both company account settings and individual user settings. This is accessible via a web browser. There are two main views in the admin portal, and your access will depend on permissions. User settings are managed in the My Extension view. This is where personal account preferences are configured. You'll have the same settings that are available in the app and then some. Company settings are managed in the admin portal profile. This is where administrators manage the account on behalf of the business. Admins can create and configure users, control company calls, and fine-tune various options with this profile. Now that we have covered the most important tools, let's tour each tool and help you get your bearings. We'll begin with the Ring Central application for desktop. As I mentioned, the Ring Central application offers direct and team messaging, video meetings, and phone calling all accessible from one application on your computer or mobile device. Let's take a tour of the app and get familiar with the layout and key sections. Everyone uses Ring Central a little differently depending on their needs. Some of the options you see here and in other training may not be available to you, but you can always ask your Ring Central admin if a feature can be enabled or added to the account. With that being said, we'll begin with the lay of the land. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll find your profile. You can pop in here to update your profile image, share your status with colleagues, add accounts to toggle and switch between, or quickly set call forwarding preferences. Slightly to the right, you'll see the business name, forward and back buttons, and search option. The forward and back arrows allow you to toggle between recent activity within the app. The search feature helps you locate a previous direct or team message, by searching for a keyword or phrase from the conversation. This is helpful if a lot of time has passed and you're looking for something specific, but only recall a few details. Search also seeks results from support articles and settings. To the far right is where you'll find dial pad and new actions. The dial pad button pulls up the calling functionality and plus sign offers a list of additional actions. This is not the only place to initiate a phone call or other communication, Think of these two buttons as quick access. The left navigation bar is where the main menu is located. This is the heart of the app and where you'll find the main options for communication, settings, and more. This account has message, direct and team messaging, video, where you can easily schedule, join, and start video meetings, and phone, which enables you to call directly from your computer. If you rely mostly on the calling function, you can pop out and pin, keeping this feature front and center. You'll also find contacts. Right out of the box, this displays colleagues' contact information as they've been added to the account. There's also the ability to add and sync with Microsoft or Google. The More menu. This holds additional options outside of the main items, including the ability to customize for quick access to your preferred features. In the Apps menu, Ring Central works with many apps you already use. Search this section to see if Ring Central integrates with other apps that are already part of your workflow. Settings. 
The settings menu is where you can set preferences for the main pieces of the Ring Central app, message, video, and phone, as well as set notification preferences. You can also manage options such as launch app at startup or change your audio setup to pair with a headset. Help. This is the Help Center and can be used for assistance or to explore additional resources. You can search for a topic or browse the menu options. In the upper right-hand corner, you can report an issue. The last option we'll review is Compact View. You can shrink the app and still comfortably use and navigate the tool. In this view, the main menu shifts to the bottom. Ring Central can also be taken on the go with the mobile app for iPhone or Android. Simply go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for Ring Central to download. Whether you're a seasoned smartphone user or new to the world of mobile devices, you'll find the Ring Central mobile app to be user friendly and intuitive. Its design closely resembles the desktop app we just reviewed, making for an easy transition between platforms. You'll find that the same features and functionality we covered for the desktop version are available on the go. The layout is just slightly different. You'll find that the main menu is on the bottom. A benefit to the mobile app is the ability to take business calls on your mobile without sharing your personal number. It also offers call switch. This means when you've taken a call on your computer, you'll open the mobile app and switch the call to your mobile device so you can have flexibility to take the call on the go. Now let's turn our attention to the admin portal. This is your gateway to behind the scenes management and configuration of Ring Central. Simply navigate to service.ringcentral.com using any web browser. You can also find links to the admin portal within the Ring Central app. As I mentioned previously, there are two views. The My Extension view. This is the user view allowing for personalization of your account directly. An admin portal, the administrator view for behind the scenes management of company wide settings. If you're away from the app, this portal allows you to log in online. Let's briefly look at the My Extension view, specifically the Settings tab. This is available to users, but the application will likely handle day to day needs. If there's a setting you're not seeing in the app, it can be worth it to check in here. This provides more granular access, such as how the system pronounces your name and the option to update your password and PIN. Let's take a look at the admin portal. It's important to mention that the admin portal is a critical tool for administrators to fine tune the Ring Central environment according to their organization's needs. If you're an admin and you're configuring the Ring Central system, the most important sections will be the user tab to manage users and phone system tab to manage company settings and call flow. This video served as an overview to show you what options are available with RingCentral MVP. To dive deeper into these topics, RingCentral offers additional self-service training through RingCentral University. If you'd like to view these trainings, please make sure you have access to your RingCentral account to log in and register for courses. Thanks for your time and attention.